Hey, how's it going guys? So you might be wondering why I have Tyrone Magnus on the screen. This video recently popped up in my uh, subscription box. Zack Snyder wants more Justice League movies. He has not given up. And I've been subscribed to uh, Tyrone for years. And I mean, this video is not really about Tyrone Magnus, but it just, I just, I saw this video pop up in my feed and I was like, hey, we got to talk about this whole topic, man. Zack Snyder, I mean, Tyrone Magnus is a big Zack Snyder fan. And he clearly wants more. He wants to restore the Snyderverse, right? This is the one area where I really <laughs> got to disagree, dude. Like, I'm not a big Zack Snyder fan. And I really don't like what he did with the DCEU. What he did with the characters. He completely misinterpreted the characters. At some point, dude, there's got to be there's got to be a line drawn. That's what I'm trying to say. As DC fans, forget about all these directors, bro. Why 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 are we showing allegiance to directors? At some point as a DC fan, you got to draw a line because what 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 Zack Snyder's plans are are dude, let me just look this up here real quick. Okay, so Snyder gods are you're yeah. 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 That, yeah. <laughs> well, like, you know, it's this whole thing with like Ares and Zeus. The and gods and Ares and Zeus, yeah. and whether or not like Zeus was really possibly Zeus. A Kryptonian yeah. And that is a Kryptonian. That, so that Wonder Woman's powers. Anyway, you can sort of see where that's going. So the Amazonians. Uh, because, you know, the whole thing of like. Our descendants. Or magic and the gods. You know, there's a version where, like, okay, that's cool, I guess. But, like, you know, there's also. Yeah, that's the actual version. Sort of scientific kind of. You know, you have like a mythology built this up is of like, why. Let me let him finish. Where do gods come from? Like, what is that about? You know? And so, anyway, it was we had played around with that quite a bit. <laughs> and Ares was the one. That caused the scout ship to crash. Yeah. And be yeah, because Ares was a cr what? member, a crew member. Yeah. He killed his crew. Yeah. yeah. So, Dude. How do you go and just change everything up like that, man? Like, as, that's what I'm saying. As DC fans, you got to draw the line at some point. Zack Snyder is literally doing the ancient aliens theory. Like, these, a these aliens come from afar and... People start looking up to them as gods, and they create this whole mythology around them. And they they mate with the people on Earth and create these demigods, which becomes which become the Amazonians. Like, dude, you're literally creating your own lord there at that point. We're, we're talking about DC here. We're not talking about whatever Zack Snyder's, you know, his, his. You know what I mean? I get. I get if you like that idea. I get it. That's fine. But that's not DC. That's what I'm saying. As DC fans, you gotta you gotta draw the line at some point. What is DC and what is Zack Snyder? You know what I mean? We're if Zack Snyder wants to tell his own story, go and tell it. It's cool. I mean, yeah, tell an ancient aliens movie. Make make I don't know whatever. All right, and see that that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, I I don't want to see a director's interpretation. I don't want to see his interpretation of these characters of these stories. I just want to see a faithful adaptation. Okay, I want to see Superman be Superman on screen. Not what Zack Snyder gave us. I want to see Batman be Batman on screen. Not what Zack Snyder gave us. I want to see Flash be Flash on screen. Not this, like, whatever, this Ezra Miller run-in kind of quirky, weird kind of, I don't even know what that is. I, you know what I mean? I, I want to see, we have the perfect plan laid out. And that's the DC Animated Universe, right? I grew up watching uh, the Justice League cartoon, the Justice League anim Animated Series. There were liberties taken in that show, right? The 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 original seven are not the original seven, right? We have Hawkgirl on the team. But it understood. That's what all these older cartoons, all these older movies understood. They understood. They, 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 they can make changes. They can take liberties. But the core, the foundation was there. You know what I mean? It, it, from, you could tell the heart was pure. The heart was intact. So the, you have the foundation. You can build upon the foundation and change things once, once you have that foundation. Zach, with, with, with the DCEU, the very foundation was wrong. I really don't understand how people can... I, I really don't understand. If you're a DC fan, how can you be cool with this? Like, like did you, do you guys remember Zack Snyder's original plan for Justice League 1 and 2? Where, where super, when Superman was dead, 
Lois Lane got with Batman, they had a relationship, and Batman got Lois Lane pregnant, and then Batman sacrifices himself for the world, saving the world, and Superman comes back and marries Lois Lane and raises Batman's kid out of respect for what Bruce Wayne did, his sacrifice. Dude, how much disrespect do you got to put on Superman, man? You completely misinterpret his character. Henry Cavill didn't even get to play Superman. He didn't get to play Superman yet. He Henry Cavill has the potential to be a good Superman. This is why I really this is why I, it sucks that he he's not Superman in the DCU because he has a the potential there. He understands the character. If you've seen him see him in interviews, he actually understands the character of Superman. I've talked about this multiple times. And he didn't get the chance to even play Superman the way he should be played. But see, look, dude, like I, I get it. If you're a Zack Snyder fan, that's cool. But as a DC fan, if you're if you're more of a DC fan, I don't see how you can be like, hey, this is cool. I want this to be the mainline DC universe on the big screen. Like this could be an Elseworlds thing. Okay, whatever. But I want our focus to be on the mainline DCU. We don't even we just get the classic interpretations done right. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Green Lantern, Aquaman, Martian, Manhunter. Dude, put him in the Justice League. Give me the original seven, all right? Honestly, dude, I really like the uh, the, the animated team. Because Aquaman, his priorities was, was to Atlantis. He was the king of Atlantis. And he came when he, he came and helped when he needed to be ha- when he needed when help needed to be had. But his priorities was Atlantis. And honestly, I really like that. I really like that. It gives so much more importance to Aquaman, so much more respect to the character without him even being in the Justice League. And uh, you get more diversity in the league if you want that with, you know, with, with more women on the team because you don't have Aquaman. You can throw in Hawkgirl and stuff like that. But anyways, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What you guys thought about all this? What do you want to see for the future of the DCU? And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.